at a Hotel 3. Getting a taxi via the front desk. I need to get a taxi. We have a variety of transportation services. Would you prefer a private vehicle or a taxi? No, that won't be necessary. I just need a taxi. Perhaps you'd prefer a limousine. That's such a stylish way to travel. Just a taxi, please. And what is your destination? I'm going to Rockefeller Center. I see. What time do you want to depart from the hotel? I want to leave as soon as possible. Okay. A taxi will arrive in seconds, sir. Thank you. I'm coming down now. It won't be but a few seconds, sir. I need a taxi, please. We have various transportation services. Would you prefer a private vehicle? No, thanks. A taxi is just fine. May I suggest a limo? It's a nice way to pamper yourself. Uh, I don't want anything except a taxi, thank you. I understand. And where will you be going? Rockefeller Center. And what time would you like to be picked up? The sooner the better. A taxi will be here shortly, sir. Great. And remember, a taxi, not a limo. A taxi it is, sir. Can you get me a taxi? We offer various types of transportation. Perhaps you'd like to upgrade to a private vehicle? Mm, thanks, but no thanks. A taxi will do just fine. In that case, how about a limo? Then you can travel in style. Mm, no, I hate limousines. They're gas guzzlers. Got it, sir. Where would you like the taxi to take you? My destination is Rockefeller Center. What time do you want to leave the hotel? As soon as possible. I'll call a taxi immediately, sir. Okay, I'm coming downstairs now. A brand new taxi is pulling up now. I'm going to need a taxi. You don't have to restrict yourself to a taxi. We can offer you a private vehicle. Private vehicle, huh? No, a taxi's okay. Some people find a limo to be much more comfortable than a taxi. No, I wouldn't be caught dead in a limo. No upgrade of any kind. And where will you be going? I'm headed to Rockefeller Center. When shall I tell the taxi to be here? Right now. The taxi will be here immediately, sir. Good. I'm leaving my room in about one minute. You won't have to wait a second, sir. I need a taxi. We could easily provide you with a private vehicle if you'd prefer. No, the taxi will do. Perhaps you'd like to take a beautiful limousine? No, thank you. Taxis and I get along just fine. No private vehicle, no limo. Got it. Where are you going? I'm seeing a show at Rockefeller Center. What time should the taxi be here to pick you up? I'm ready to go right now. I'll have a taxi for you here momentarily, sir. Great. As soon as I brush my teeth, I'll be downstairs. You'll enjoy our new clean taxis, sir. Could you please reserve a taxi for me? Do you think a private vehicle might be more to your liking? A private vehicle? No, thanks. I won't need one. Even better than a private vehicle is a limo. How does that sound? Taxi, please. A taxi it is. Where will you be headed? Rockefeller Center. Can you get the taxi here immediately, please? A taxi will be here in just a minute, sir. Good. I'll get my coat and come downstairs. The taxi will be ready when you are, sir. Checking out. I am checking out. Here's the key to my room. Thank you. I'll just put my receipt and then you're free to go. Here you go. Thanks. If you don't mind me asking, how did you enjoy your stay at New York Hotel? This hotel could use some incesticide, but my time in New York was thoroughly delightful. That's very honest of you. Rest assured that this hotel will have no insects next time. Hi. I want to check out. Here's my room key. One second, sir, while I print out your receipt. Here you are. Thanks. May I ask, sir, if you enjoyed your stay? Well, except for one night I enjoyed the hotel. And I love New York, of course. Thank you for your honesty. I assure you there will be no cockroaches next time. Hello. I'm leaving. Here is my key. Just one second, sir, and I'll give you your receipt. Here you go. Thank you very much. Sir, did you enjoy your stay here? Well, most of the time here was pleasant, and New York itself was fantastic. I'm glad you enjoyed the city anyway. 
But please don't think too unkindly of us. Hi, I'm out of here. Here's my key. Give me just a few seconds, sir, and I'll hand you your receipt. Here you are. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your stay, sir. I only had nine little problems here. Other than that, I enjoyed my stay and I loved the city. I apologize again for the cockroaches, sir. I hope you have a nice trip home. My stay is over. Here's the key to my room. Thank you, and here's your receipt, sir. Many thanks. I hope your stay here was satisfactory, sir. This could be a great hotel once you get rid of the insects. The city itself is great. I'm glad that the little problem didn't ruin your visit. Please have a pleasant trip home. This visit is over for me. Here's your room key. Thank you for that, and in return, here's your receipt. And thanks to you. I hope you'll visit us again, sir. I'd be willing to try this hotel again if you can promise me no more cockroaches. I guarantee you that our little friends won't be back. I hope your trip home is pleasant. Disputing the bill. My amenities bill say that I owe ten dollars for a movie, but I never ordered one. Let's see. It says that you were charged Monday at 9 p.m. for the movie Titanic. That's absolutely wrong. I was out exploring the city Monday night. Okay, let me see what I can do for you. Thank you. I didn't think it would be this simple. I can take the ten dollars off your bill, but I need to charge you two dollars for the service. Are you serious? I have to pay two dollars for a movie I never watched. Unfortunately, sir, it's how the computer is programmed. This is outrageous. I'm never coming back to this hotel again. I'm sorry, sir. Perhaps you'd like to write a letter to the headquarters. I just discovered that I owe ten dollars for a movie that I never ordered. Let me check, sir. You were charged for watching Titanic Monday night. That is absolutely incorrect. I was out on the town Monday night. Okay, sir. Bear with me a moment. Thank you for taking my word over the computer's word. One slight problem, sir. I need to charge you two dollars to remove this error from your file. You can't be serious. You're making me pay two dollars for a movie I never watched. I feel your pain, sir. Absolutely unbelievable. You people should be ashamed of yourselves. I agree with you, sir. But all I do is work here. You guys are charging me ten dollars for a movie that I never ordered or saw. Let's see, sir. According to your file, you watched Titanic Monday evening. Well, the wrong information is in my file. I was at a concert Monday night. Well, your word overrules the file, sir. One moment, please. I knew you'd see it my way. Sir, I deleted the ten dollars, but I need to add a two dollars service charge to your bill. Am I in the twilight zone? You're charging me for a movie I never saw. Please don't blame me, sir. Blame the computer programmer. This is highway robbery. I've got a good mind to call the police. If it makes you feel any better, other guests feel the same way. Why am I being charged ten dollars for a movie that I never ordered? Sir, according to your file, you spent Monday evening watching Titanic. Well, the file is wrong. I was at a concert that night. Well, this wouldn't be the first time that a file was wrong. Just a moment, please. Thank you for taking care of it so quickly. Sir, when I deleted the ten dollars, the program automatically added a two dollars service charge. You can't do that. You can't charge me for a mistake that you made. Sometimes you can't win for losing, sir. Well, now I've seen it all. What a ripoff this place is. I don't blame you, sir. Two dollars is a lot of money. I need to know why I'm being charged ten dollars for a movie that I never ordered. Hmm. Your file shows that you watched Titanic Monday night. Monday night. Monday night. I was at a great concert. Well, as they say, garbage in, garbage out. Let me correct this error, please. Thank you. It's very nice when problems can be solved quickly. When I deleted the ten dollars, the computer automatically added a two dollars service charge. Are you crazy? You made the mistake, and now you're charging me for your mistake? Sir, if it makes you feel any better, the two dollars service fee used to be five dollars. Why don't you just stick a gun in my ribs and take everything I have? Unfortunately, sir, you'll have to pay the two dollars whether you like it or not. Storing luggage for a few hours. 
I'm checking out in about half an hour. Whenever you're ready to check out, I'll be ready, sir. Great. As you know, however, the day in New York has hardly begun. You're right. It's only 9 a.m. Therefore, I think I'll explore New York some more, but I need to store my bags. Sir, our storage facility is merely $5 an hour. You also need to leave a deposit. My luggage isn't enough of a deposit? Unfortunately, it isn't. Visa or MasterCard will suffice, though. Hmm. Well, then. Let me put on my thinking cap for a moment. Better hurry, sir. Remember, you have to check out in less than half an hour. I should tell you that I'm checking out in about 30 minutes. I'm ready when you are, sir. Very good. Now, it's still morning here in New York. You are so right, sir. The clock just struck nine. I'm going to spend some time exploring the city. What can I do with my luggage? Sir, right here we have a storage site. It's only $5 an hour, but you need to leave a deposit. A deposit? Isn't my luggage a deposit? I'm sorry, sir, but it isn't. Your MasterCard or Visa will take care of things nicely. Hmm, okay. Let me think about this. Okay, sir, but don't take too long. You only have 30 minutes. Do you know that I'm checking out in about 30 minutes? Just say the word, sir. Excellent. Now, as you know, the day has barely begun. I agree. The dew is still on the grass. I want to hit a few more places in the city, but I need a place to put my luggage. We do have a storage space for your bags. There's a small charge, plus a deposit. Leave a deposit? Isn't leaving the luggage enough of a deposit? Regrettably, no. But simply present your visa to cover your deposit. Hmm. I'll have to think about this for a second. Okay, sir, but don't think too long. Your checkout is only 30 minutes away. In case you didn't know, I'm checking out in half an hour. That won't be a problem, sir. That's good to hear. Now, there's still a whole New York day ahead of me. You're right, sir. Your whole day is still ahead of you. I still have time to explore more of New York, but I need a place to secure my baggage. We have a storage place here, but you have to leave a deposit. A deposit, huh? I would think my baggage would be enough of a deposit. Just present your visa card and there won't be any problems. That deposit bothers me. Give me a minute. Okay, sir, but remember how close it is to your checkout time. I'll be checking out of the hotel in about 30 minutes. 30 minutes or 30 seconds, sir? It doesn't matter. I'm ready for you. Great. As you know, however, the day in New York has hardly begun. There's nothing like getting an early start, sir. What can I do with my baggage while I visit a few more tourist spots? You can leave your baggage in our storage space with a deposit. Isn't my baggage enough of a deposit? I wish it was, but it isn't. They will still want a credit card. It's always something, isn't it? Let me think about this for a second. Don't forget that you have very little time, sir, before you have to check out. To hold a parcel for pickup. I'd like to leave a parcel for one of my friends. Is that okay? All I need is your name, the name of your friend, and the time of pickup. All of that's on the package. Can I just bring it down to your desk? That would be most convenient for me. Thanks for your consideration. I want to leave a parcel for a friend to pick up. Can I do that? Just tell me your name, your friend's name, and when your friend is coming by. I'll put all that information on the package and just bring it down to you. Is that okay? That sounds great, sir. Thank you. Can I leave a parcel with you for one of my friends to pick up later? I just need your name and your friend's name. Also, tell me when he is coming by. How about if I write all that on the package and then bring it down to you? Perfect. Thank you for doing that. I've got a parcel here that a friend is going to pick up. Can I leave it with you? No problem. Just tell me your name, his name, and when he's coming by. I'll just write all that info on the parcel itself and then bring it to you. Sir, you make my work too easy. Thank you. A friend is picking up a parcel. Can I leave the parcel with you? By all means, sir. Just give me your name, his name, and when he will be coming by. I can put all of that right on the package and then bring it down to you, if that's okay. Well, thank you for doing that, sir. I wish all guests were like you. Calling to cancel a reservation. 
I'm calling to cancel a reservation I made earlier in the week. To cancel your reservation, I need your name, phone number, and date of trip, please. Rudy Randolph, eight one eight five 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 one two three four. My reservation begins on the second Monday of April. I see your reservation on my computer. Let me just cancel it, and you'll be all set. Thanks. I'll call again when things get better at home. You're welcome. I need to cancel my reservation. I have personal matters that need fixing. That's not a problem. Just give me your name, phone number, and date of visit. Rudy Randolph, eight one eight five 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 one two three four. April nine through fifteen. I see your info here on the screen. I'll just hit one button, sir, and you're canceled. Thank you. I'm glad that wasn't too much of a bother. It's a pleasure. I made a reservation earlier this week, but I have to cancel it. No problem, sir. Just tell me your name, phone number, and date of reservation. Great. I'm Rudy Randolph, eight one eight five 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 one two three four, and my reservation was for April nine to fifteen. Okay, sir. Let me hit the delete button, and your reservation will be canceled. That was nice and fast. Thanks. Not at all. I hate to do this, but I've got to cancel a reservation I made earlier this week. All I need is your name, phone, and reservation date. My name is Rudy Randolph. I'm at eight one eight five 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 one two three four. The reservation was for April nine. Randolph, Rudy. Let me hit one button, sir, and now your reservation is canceled. Okay, thank you. I'll make other reservations as soon as I can. It's been my pleasure to help you. My wife is sick, so I have to cancel a reservation I made. If you'll just give me your name, phone, and date of visit, I can cancel your reservation. I'm Rudy Randolph at eight one eight five 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 one two three four, April ninth to the fifteenth. Mr. Randolph, okay, one second, sir, and there you go. Your reservation is now canceled. I wish everything in life was so simple. Thank you. Not a problem, sir. Please remember us in the future. We hope you find this helpful, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.